So, I'll try this again, as I managed to make the video the first time that long. I uh, ended up losing half of it. So, this is the front of Dansville. My defences, lots of turrets, two guard towers, quite an effective security personnel, even if they had dumb enough to have just fallen off that side. Inside here is my airlock. Laser tripwire connected to the two flamethrowers, so anything that manages to get past the turrets and the gate and the uh, guards instantly get torched. And if that doesn't work, there are also turrets guarding it. A laser, a machine gun there, and that, that one also is effective for inside here. And a shotgun to the back of the head, which usually does a good trick. Oh, in comes a storm, useful. Decontamination spray. Gives you a good uh, clean down, which I think after this storm I'm probably going to need. One of my many power stations. Access into the uh, security personnel's base. One of my back gates. Turrets. And another one of my security personnel. This is the civilian entrance into my security base. Along with armory, sleeping quarters for my guards. Armor inside there. More armor, more beds. Apparently it's now gonna get me stuck inside here. So, if we come upside, there is access to the top tunnels with switches so I can deactivate them if necessary. Got laser turrets, gatling turrets, rocket turrets, all the turrets you need. Again, you can see the uh, fire rate in there. All the turrets with the lots of access to the front shooting. Turrets up there for the far side. That's the uh, control panel for all my uh, spark it was really. um, for the flamethrowers and everything. Chem station and this is my workshop with my X01 power armor with custom flames uh, paint job. All my uh, mods and weapons and ammo and everything else that I can think of. So yeah, we've got this, which as you can tell in my HP, it decontaminates you. It does turn itself off eventually. Farm. Grows plants. Got Brahmin. I also have this. the storm's just come along. What else sod floor is that? So yeah, this is me food station, lots of food places. This is town hall, which from the front looks quite small, but from the side is actually quite huge. Town hall contains all my shops. And that's my little bar that I was telling you about where everyone chills out on a night. Nice and cosy for everyone. Dog meat in his armour. Walking pimp. My little uh, viewing platform. Thank God it's uh, the storm's near enough past. Now you can actually see the main area. With my water purifier down there as well. Um, top of there, another power station, more turrets that look over the back. This is my sleeping quarters, personal, private ones. Nice collection of trophies. A little TV area. More trophies and bobbleheads. Uniforms, weapons, bed. Some of my special weapons, alien blaster, saltron head. 
A lot of these are from the DLCs. More storage stuff. Magazine storage there as well. I'm trying to be quick because, uh, like I said, my last video ended up being that long. I lost half of it. That is my sleeping quarters for some of my civilians. Sleeping downstairs and the uh, common area upstairs with some more beds. As I have currently, I think, 18 civilians living here. Toilets. Because I can. My little uh, cool little sign that I've got going on. For me uh, arena, which you can just see there. More security personnel. Turrets. Up there is apparently a corpse. And more turrets. This is Ada, who is my robot, modelled mainly on a sentry bot, armed with a laser Gatling gun and an assault on hand. Heavily armoured, very hard to take out. Um, iBot station for if you want to send iBots out. Another airlock for the rear of the base with another one of my security personnel. Again, all my security personnel are in full combat armour, carrying a lot of my old weapons rather than selling them. Armed my guards with them, give them the best of the best. Means that they can take out the bandits a lot quicker than uh, just normal shitty weapons. More power stations. This is the outskirts of my uh, arena. I'm thinking I might actually put a wall around there. It might make it look a bit more attractive from the outside. One of my scavengers. So, up here is the death trap. The seating area for when my civilians come to view the events that take place in the arena. And up here is the actual command center, control center even, for it. So we've got my little terminal that I can control and program things. This switch actually uh, turns on and off the actual gates, so that's what unlocks the gates. This actually turns on the traps. There you go. Buzzsaw's going. Spring-loaded uh, spike trap. There's a pitfall trap and a flamethrower on the far side. Turn them off so I don't torch myself, and I'll go and show you the traps quick. I'm going to take a shortcut. More power supplies, generators. These turrets are more here for preventing things getting in and out of here. Apparently, I forgot to shut that on the last video, but normally that would be shut. And. Uh, this gate's controlled from the outside, so that when things are on the inside, they can't get back out again. Those are the traps. And then you've got your buzzsaw blades, which, as you run through, would slice you to pieces. If you were to run this way, however, you've got this trap, which is a nasty... I want to get myself... Yeah, it does that. Uh, pitfall traps. And through these trap doors are spikes, which normally retract, but uh, that one's still open from the last time I did this video. And then there's the flamethrowers, which are controlled by this laser, which is on, on currently, but if you were to run through there, you'd get torched on the other side. Um, if you were to fall through into the basement of this building, um, I have actually got an access door access panels up there for the traps but yeah there is an access door down here again locked from the outside currently containing one of my traders because he won't leave but this is how I make sure that things have actually died when they fall through so at the end of the actual battle if something's fallen through the uh, arena trap I can come down here and clean up any survivors but yeah he just stays in there now because I can't be asked trying to get him out. Um, 
Over that side there is the uh, the original power station um, that was here when you actually move on to this island. I've just added a little bit extra security onto it. I won't go all the way down. Yeah. A couple of turrets and a spot uh, spotlight. Spotlight. I don't know what the fuck one of them is. Then there's this building which I don't know what I was making to be honest but it ended up being sort of like a military command centre plus sleeping quarters for additional civilians. Uh, searchlights, turrets, v again very heavily defended as the entire base is. Basically it means I don't have to do anything if this place gets attacked. Again, more turrets, more searchlights, more security personnel. There is two guards at this place. There's one there currently, and there should be one over there. And then inside here is obviously the original workshop. <coughs> this is the waiting area for the command center. And the actual strategy rooms themselves and a guy that looks like he's standing on guard but should actually be working. Storage areas. Up here on the second floor is the actual uh, sleeping area for additional people with a bit of a common room built in. Got a little bit of a balcony so they can enjoy a barbecue in summer or something. Views of the lovely Atlantic Ocean. And then because I thought I'd been snazzy, I decided to put a lift onto the top floor. Which, another power station, and as you can tell, a hell of a lot of turrets. I didn't bother putting any here because there's the ones down there on the floor. So, as you can tell, very, very heavily defended. So there you have it, mate. Welcome to Dansville. And uh, just for your information, this is that rifle I was telling you about, which is the uh, lever action rifle. I've upgraded mine, it's silenced, but... Uh, nice little rifle. And then there's the armour that I was telling you about, which... Oh, that's not what I wanted you to do. Oh, there you go, you can see is uh, kind of cool. That's the, uh, I can't remember what it's called now, naval type armour. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, mate. Welcome to Dansville.